and I just discovered a hack with VLOOKUP that I wanted to share with you guys. So I have a VLOOKUP formula in here, and if you guys have seen my old video uh, with a bunch of different things on VLOOKUP, then you already know how to do this. This is a array formula, and I got multiple columns that I'm returning with this. If you guys don't know how to do that, go check out my other video. If you do know how to do that, you're ready for a hack to take it to the next level, check this out. This is my static data, and this is my dynamic data, okay? So I'm just gonna show this to you, right? Get rid of that, all this is just is all coming from the formula. So here's the issue that I have. Let's say this is your database, and you are you got this coming in, you wanna pull this in, but you wanna be able to like sort and filter your data. The issue is, so I got this one formula, this is living right here, this is popping this whole data set. The issue is, like let's say, I want to sort by city, right? Which happens to be the same. Now, once we get it where we're pushing this array formula down because of our sort, we suddenly lose our data. And so now I can go back and it'll come back, maybe, you know, and you kind of get some goofy things going on. And I'm like, ah, how to get how to get back to where I need to be. So advanced hack and if you guys are watching you already kind of know what's going on so what's going on here i just made a custom array so that's what this practice does and i don't think i have a video on this yet i'm probably gonna put one out here soon um so basically i'm making my own array because this is an array right this is forming this is making this array down here like we see in this one so this array formula is making this custom array so what we're doing here is we're making a, a top row for our customary that we're adding and so we're adding our first name last name address city state phone and email and then this semicolon this is how it works in the u.s the semicolon means this is one row up here above and then this is a row slash more rows down below so what's happening is since i put this up here this is what's showing up in the top row and then this dynamic data is showing up down here below now what i figured out that's really awesome is now you can actually sort this data and you don't mess up the formula. This is kind of nuts. Uh, when I first discovered this, I was like, this is crazy. Why hasn't anyone ever done this before? So this literally changed my life because before I was always a big fan of VLOOKUP. The one issue is if you had a database like this and you want to be able to sort or filter, I'm pretty much just sorting. If you want to sort, you're going to screw it up and then it's going to mess up all your data, especially if you had multiple array formulas. And think about it, you could use this individually. Like let's say you had to pull data from three different tabs. You could use, you know, if you were pulling one row here, um, you could have a new VLOOKUP here, do the same thing. All you do then is just have your one, one column there, right? And then return your one column there. So crazy hack. Just want to share with you guys. Have a great one.